It happens in the blink of an eye. And it's hopefully something that never happens to you. But if you are involved in a crash, the car or truck you're in can make a huge difference in the outcome. The results of this test of a Nissan Frontier pickup at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Vehicle Research Center near Charlottesville were not immediately released. Although previous side impact tests resulted in the crew cab version of the truck getting the Institute's best rating, good, which is worth much more than bragging rights. A good example is our side impact test, um, where you know roughly you're s roughly 70% less likely, um, you know, to die or be seriously injured in a good vehicle compared to a poor vehicle. But comparing cars' crash test ratings might not be as simple as you think. Even when two vehicles have good ratings in one front end test, the larger of the two vehicles could do much better if those two were to collide. The one caution that we would make is that, you know, for our frontal moderate test, um, you can't compare across classes. So, so that rating can't be compared for a smart car, you know, to an F-150. You can't beat physics, so, um, you know, mass is, is still going to win out. There is some safety uh, disbenefit for, you know, smaller vehicles. According to the IIHS, the moderate overlap frontal test replicates a crash between two vehicles of the same weight. The federal government's frontal crash test ratings also represent a crash between two vehicles weighing the same. Staying safe gets even more complicated with more older vehicles on the road. We're holding on to our cars longer than ever before. The average car on the road in 2016 was over 11 years old, according to researchers at the firm IHS Market. 10, 11 years ago, uh, electronic stability control was fairly new. Side airbags were, you know, just starting to come onto the market. And so, you know, even for a used car buyer, those are some of the features that we encourage them to buy when they're looking for a used car. Would you advise against driving an 11-year-old car every day, knowing what you know in your job? Let's say, no, I mean, I think there are safe cars out there even 10, 11 years ago. Though many of the cars we're driving are even older than that. Over 60 million are at least 16 years old, and that category is only growing. The safety of those cars is a mixed bag. You know, even when we began testing uh, frontal crashes in, you know, the mid-90s, uh, there was a lot, a lot of occupant compartment collapse. Um, and so even though cars had airbags, uh, the structure didn't hold up to allow those to do what they were designed to do. So there's still a, a big difference in, in cars today and, you know, even 20 years ago. Perhaps most surprising is how one classic car stacked up. You would think that with size on its side, a big, bold American icon would cause major damage to a modern car. But that's not what happened in a 2009 test, which showed the danger of cars that were designed primarily with style in mind. Yeah, so, you know, that car, there wasn't a lot of safety design work that went into it. And so, you know, there, there wasn't you know, airbags to help the occupant. Uh, you didn't see sort of collapsible structure, you know, that allowed the front end to absorb the energy. And so most of that energy was absorbed in the occupant compartment, uh, which led to really high injury risk for the dummy in that test. And even though a 1959 Chevrolet is nearly two feet longer than a 2009 Chevy Malibu, the two cars are about the same weight. Without crumple zones or a reinforced passenger compartment, the classic Chevy was left with a front tire rammed underneath the dashboard. That tire was where the occupant was sitting, and so, you know, high risk of leg injuries. The other thing is the steering wheel, um, you know, drove back into the occupant compartment, and so, you know, high risk of head, chest injuries as well. And so that's not an out a good outcome for somebody that was driving that vehicle. John Aaron, WTOP News.